Hi my loves, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch. If you are new to my channel then welcome, if you are a regular then welcome back to the mat with me. So in the UK at the moment there is a heat wave going on and it is bloody boiling. I am from Wales where it rains all the time so this is a real shock to the system and after teaching uh, my vinyasa class in my yoga studio this morning I was really craving something slow, a deep full body stretch to kind of cool down the nervous system, cool down the body and just kind of make use of this space that's in my body. Now my muscles are lovely and warm. So today is a quick 20 minute deep full body stretch, making good use of this temperature. Now our uh, muscles are open and they're a little bit warm and kind of developing a little bit more mobility, a little bit more space and just cooling down the practice. So you can use any props that you want for today's practice, maybe some blocks, a strap, pillow, etc. Grab yourself a big pint of water and I will meet you on the mat in a moment. with we're going to come to lie all the way flat on the back extending the arms all the way overhead giving ourselves a lovely full body stretch here before releasing those arms down by our side or maybe bending them at the elbow come to cactus arms and we're going to take those knees from left to right beginning to wake up those hips massaging the top of the hips into the mat as you make this slow and gentle movement from side to side, maybe adding in a little neck stretch by rolling our head in the opposite direction of our knees. Before we gently allow those knees to fall all the way over to the right hand side and take our gaze over to the left. If you search for a deeper twist here, then maybe you bend the left leg, taking this left foot on top of the right knee on the mat. That was a sentence to get out, wasn't it? Before we gently take the left leg back on top of the right and make this twist to the other side. So switching your gaze you go, remember if you want a deeper twist then maybe you bend the right knee taking that foot above the left knee. If your right knee is in the sky, you're just going to bring it back on top of the left leg. Bring both knees back into the centre and this time allow the bottom of the feet to come together. Open those knees out into butterfly legs. You can pop two blocks underneath the knees here if you need a little bit of support. You can take your arms into cactus, maybe bring them overhead. Finding one elbow, find another. Open up this lower spine, creating a little bit of a deeper arch here and settle into this pose. Just letting gravity open up the hips when your legs are in butterfly legs. If it feels good, you can maybe give those hips a wiggle, moving those knees up and down. A 
And as this is a super slow practice today, we're looking to cool down. You're just gonna bring your attention to your breath and nothing fancy here. Just maybe trying to make equal inhales with your exhale. So maybe inhaling for four and exhaling for four here. Setting ourselves into this pose here, keeping our attention on the breath, maybe counting, maybe simply going with your natural flow for a few more moments. And from here, you're gonna gently release the arms all the way down by your side. Inhale as you bring those knees very gently together and exhale to windscreen wipe them from left to right. Releasing any tension from that deep butterfly leg stretch. And then from here, we're gonna inhale to extend both the arms and the legs and making a kind of strange C shape on the mat. You're gonna walk those hands all the way over to the left hand side of your mat. Walk the legs over to the left, keep the body where it is. Open up that side. Walking those legs back into the center and then taking the hands, taking the feet all the way over to the right hand side, create this strange little C shape on the other side, opening up the left hand side of the body now. Walk those hands back into the center. Another full body stretch here. Before you gently roll all the way onto your front and move straight away into your Sphinx pose, taking the elbows underneath the shoulders. Hands come firmly into the mat, point those toes to either corner of your mat here. Taking your gaze in between the thumbs. Let's open up this lower spine a little bit more, grounding with our root chakra. You won't be staying here too long. Let's just open up the heart, connect with the root chakra, feel grounded in this beautiful Sphinx pose, one of my favorite poses in all of yoga. If you've done a lot of my flows on YouTube or maybe in my studio, then you'll know how much I love this pose. And then gently from here, gonna release the forehead to the mat, slide those hands next to your chest. And on your next inhale, extend the arms, push all the way in to your upward dog, take the gaze nice and high to the sky. And exhale to move into your tabletop, setting up your alignment here. Hips are stacked just above the knees, wrist underneath the shoulders. And as we're aiming to cool down, we're gonna create some spinal waves here. So inhale to drop that chest and take those hips all the way back to the heels. Exhale to curve the spine and roll all the way up. Inhale to drop those hips back to the heels. 
exhale to curve all the way up. Now I'm making this movement with the rhythm of your own breath. It doesn't matter if the movement's perfect. We're just looking to kind of cool down to create a little bit of movement in the spine, almost like we're creating waves. Beautiful. Taking this a few more times. And then from here, you're gonna release those toes, bringing them together and settle those hips all the way back to the heels. Come in to your child's pose. So extending those arms all the way forwards, bring your forehead to the mat. And simply ground a little bit deeper here. Making gentle inhales and exhales through the nose. And if you like, out the mouth is up to you today. We're looking to stretch the body to cool down, so letting go of this heat any way that you can. And then from here, on your next inhale, push into the hands to curve the body, come all the way back into your tabletop. And we're gonna swing those legs all the way around in front. Moving to sit on the sit bones, taking all that deliciousness out of the way and extending the legs forward. And from here, you're gonna bend the right knee into the chest, bringing it up nice and close and allow this knee to fall to the side. The bottom of the right foot comes into the thigh of the left. Now you can pop a block underneath the knee here. Remember, we're not stretching the bent leg. And from here, we're gonna inhale to lift that chest and exhale, we're gonna release the left hand to the mat and this time opening up the side body a little bit more as we bring the right arm all the way overhead. It doesn't matter if we touch the toes. We just wanna pull back this arm, pull back this elbow. Open up the body here for a beautiful side stretch. Using your exhales to sink a little bit deeper here. not holding the breath. Keep a nice steady rhythm in through the nose. And then making a beautiful transition here, we're gonna inhale to lift the chest, take the right hand behind us and push into this right hand as we lift those hips into the sky, open up the front of the body, inhale. And then exhale to relax those hips back to the mat and then immediately forward fold over the extended leg here. Again, the goal is to not touch the toes. The goal is to not touch the toes. The toes. The goal is to stretch the hamstring. So it doesn't matter if your hands land on your calf, maybe the ankle or maybe up by the thigh. Wherever you are, you're gently gonna take hold of that part of the leg. Inhale to lift the chest and exhale to forward fold wherever your body goes.
Inhaling to look at those toes and exhale to bring the body up. This time I'm going to close those hips by lifting that right knee up into the chest and taking that right foot over to the left hand side of the mat. We're going to hug this knee close and twist round. This heat is getting to my head, I can't get my lefts or my rights. But remember, if you ever mess up in yoga with your left and your rights, we always balance out the other side. So don't even worry about it. But when you're in this twist, inhale to lift that chest. Keep that long line of energy from the base of the spine to the top of the neck here. And then gently bring that body back into the center. Extend the right leg here. And we're gonna bend the left and take this stretch to the other side. So again, you can switch the block, take it underneath your left knee here. But we're gonna inhale to lift the chest, take those hands all the way up to the sky and exhale to bring the right hand to the mat and open up the left hand side of the body. Maybe recognizing now if you can go deeper on one side than you can on the other. Not holding the breath here, simply holding the body, holding the pose. And then on your next inhale, lift the chest, take that left hand behind you. Inhale, push into that hand, open up the front of the body. Inhale here. And then exhale to forward fold over the extending leg. Remembering what I said about where you land. We're not forcing our body to go past its comfort zone. We're just aiming to stretch it. So not looking for any sharp pains here. Remember, yoga isn't a competition. Inhaling to look at those toes. Exhale to raise the body up. And then bringing that left knee into the center. We're gonna take that twist. So guide that left foot over the right leg. Hug it with the right arm and twist all the way to the left hand side. Beautiful. And then bringing that body back into the center, extending both legs here. And this time you're gonna flex the feet, bend the knees, I'll move to the side so you can see better. And you're gonna inhale, take the hands up to the sky and exhale to forward fold over those knees. Allow the forehead to come down as far as possible. Aiming to stretch this lower spine here at the top of the shoulders. Not staying here too long. Before we place the feet into the mat, bringing them as close as we can to the chest, and then hugging these knees with the right arm, we're gonna twist over to the left hand side. Bringing the body back into the center, hug them with your left arm, twist over to the right. And then bringing the body back into the center. From here, you can move to a comfortable seated position, maybe across the legs, or you can follow me and come in to your hero's pose, maybe tucking those toes behind you to get a beautiful stretch on the bottom of the feet. And from here, we're gonna take those hands to our knees, and we're gonna begin to stretch the neck by nodding the head, yes. Shaking it now. and then beginning to create some circles, moving them in a full circle or a half circle, anything that you like. And 
if your toes are tucked, you're just gonna release them now. Come into a comfortable hero's pose. And we're not gonna do Shavasana in kind of the usual way as we normally do. We're looking to cool down today and we're actually gonna add a little bit of releasing, so letting go of any negative energy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale to draw the shoulders all the way up to the ears, bend the elbows, get as high as you can go, inhale. And with a sigh and force, drop those shoulders down. So two more times, we're gonna take this using the power of three by inhaling, draw those shoulders up to the ears. And exhale, drop all the way down one more time. Inhale, bring those shoulders all the way up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale to release those hands, those hands, those shoulders down taking the hands into prayer and bowing your head low, maybe moving your chest forwards. Giving thanks to yourself for bringing you to the mat today. Giving thanks to your energy, your mindset. And from me, giving thanks to you for joining me on the mat today for this cooling full body stretch. So if you wanna go into a full Shavasana, you're more than welcome to lie down the mat but I'm going to leave you here choosing what you would like to cool down and I will see you for the next video. Namaste, my loves.